After the show, be sure to go to lootcrate.com forward slash Stephen Larson and use the promo code FRIENDO for a discount off your new subscription. And sign up by the 19th of next month for the Combat Crate with items from Blizzard, Capcom, and Fallout 4. Hey, FRIENDO, Steve here. And Larson. Welcome back to Going In Raw. Uh, so we just did FRIENDO cast, and now we're going to do Going In Raw. That's why we're still here doing gameplay. We haven't, we haven't shunted... Your suggestions that we keep it to the back and forth. We were just in a hurry, so we didn't want to move. We're low on time. We didn't want to hurry. Uh, so we wanted to hurry. So here we are. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Going In Rod's Wrestling Podcast. Uh, today we're going to talk about World Heavyweight Championship. Just, just do the, the stuff. Just do the noise. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hit triangle resiliency. Damn! What does that do? Does that you slow kick, it down? You, no, you kick out immediately. Oh, it gives you that option? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Raw cap. Raw cap, Larson. Um, So, we had a World Heavyweight Championship one-night tournament. The winners of the previous, of the Hell in the Cell in general, uh, like... Matches. Had matches to enter into. A fatal four-way match, whoever won that match was... I swear it's like I'm booking this shit. This is exactly what I'm doing in NXT when I started doing it three weeks ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, we have a new number one contender. Yes, we do. And his name is... Roman Gaines. I mean, what was yours? Roman Shames? Roman Fanes. Roman Fanes, that's right. I was going to do an angle where Roman uh, skid marks his pants a lot, and so yeah. he called, he's called Roman Shames because he's shamed about it. Anyways. Um, is it his time, Larson? Are we, are we, the, the crowd gave him a good pop? He did, or they did. Has he paid his dues? Like, let's think about this from a storyline perspective. Let's think about this from... Uh, does this make sense? Is this best for business for the company? As they like to say, but for reals. Here's what I think is going to happen. What's going to happen? I always uh, like your ideas, but they never come to fruition. This one, I th- I'm pretty confident it will. Um, you're, you're a brilliant fun and fantasy booker, but then you book Droop... Droop... droop Picklefoot. Picklefoot. I guess. Lux like Luger at WrestleMania. Uh, um, an extreme rules match, I no think, less. I uh, think Dean Ambrose is going to cost Reigns... The belt at Survivor Series. Ooh. Setting up Shield Triple Threat match at WrestleMania. Man, I would love the I would love for that to happen. And he's not going to align himself with uh, Rollins, right? Rollins. He's just going to be like, say yeah. like, hey, I this is not where WrestleMania 30 was at at all. This isn't Levi Stadium. <laughs> this is a much smaller. Game. Um, <laughs> Ambrose would probably just say something like, you know, I, I I had X number of matches with Rollins. I was so close. I was so close and got screwed out every time. Why, why do you think you deserve it now? Yeah. How come I don't deserve it. Yeah. I should be in here too. Okay. Now, let me ask you this, though. From a creative standpoint or from the, the, the mind of Paul Levesque, because I, I, I would seem to think that he... I think something tells me Triple H is, is sort of more in charge of... I could be completely wrong. It's all speculation. Okay. I think he's probably in charge of booking. And this is why Rollins has been champion so long. He's in charge of booking sort of the main storylines on Raw. Mm-hmm. Vince is probably more hands-on with the money stuff. Brock Lesnar's stuff. The mm-hmm. Undertaker stuff. Celebrity stuff. Mm-hmm. That, to me, seems to make sense. The way we've seen things But look, now, they we're at the, stadi- we're at the, uh, the stadium. Yeah. But at the, oh, the wider yeah. shot, it make, made it seem really small. Yeah, uh-huh. that's weird. Um, that's my thinking. And if that's the case, um, do you think... <laughs> I'm wearing the ring. Oh, I can break out. That's right. I thought it said uh, running. Oh, I wish. I know. I think you got to try next time. See if you can make player two your guy, the guy that you're playing. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Because then you can run in. This is a big ramp. Look at Lex. He's so slow. He's just strolling down. He's in zero F. <laughs> he didn't even see you coming. Look how much he's in pain. He's hurting so bad right now. You got Luthez press for his troubles. <laughs> On the ramp, too. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's about to literally Anyways, finish your you. thought. Do you think they think they're at the point where Ambrose, by turning heel on Reigns, isn't just going to make Ambrose, to a lot of the audience, the actual face? Oh, yeah. It will. That's going to be a major problem. It makes you wonder if they're... I, I have to believe that Triple H is and Stephanie are cognizant of that. Yeah, I would think so. Um, but, it, it, you know, and it depends on... If it's Vince that had been want, wanted uh, Roman to be the top dog for a while, yeah, maybe he'll just he'll override him and say, "No, I want this to happen." Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't know. I mean, I think it's I think it's it's a great idea. I think if there's going to be some sort of divide between them, yeah, that has to happen. 
Yeah. They're it's just they're setting it up too much. I think if they make his heel turn more of a bit more of a gray area. Um if he if he turns on him, but he doesn't change his character necessarily. Yeah. If he says, "Hey, this isn't because I'm a bad guy. Maybe it's because he wants in the mix." Mm-hmm. And that's how he does it. He mixes it up to get in the action. Yeah. Um if they frame it like that, then you don't really have a face heel situation. You have competitors. Yeah. And I think that would be probably the smartest way to go. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so I love that scenario. I think a lot of people are like clamoring for a Shield three way at WrestleMania. I think yeah. it'd be fantastic. Yeah. Um, and uh, and it'll be interesting. I think who who do you think would get the biggest pop if they won the, th- the Shield three way at WrestleMania? Uh, probably Ambrose. By far, I think Ambrose. But Rambo, or, sorry, but Rambo. But Rambo. <laughs> Rambo's gonna win. But, uh, but Rangers gonna win. I agree. I agree with that totally. But that, wouldn't that be great if if, if it was Ambrose? Uh, Wyatt family. Apparently, Undertaker's feeling like it's 1990 again because he's all over TV. Well, this is this is goodbye tour. Yeah. Is he? Did he actually? Was he on Raw? No. No, he was not on Raw. But it does look like there's going to be a Survivor Series team versus team, Team Taker versus Team Wyatt. Yep. Uh, um, Kane interjected himself. I don't know if you saw that. Right now, I saw I saw the GIF of it on Twitter, um, and the Wyatt family took him out. It's nice to see the. It's nice to see the Wyatt family. I wish they had booked the force. the Wyatt Undertaker feud the first time around like this. Yeah, it'd have been so much better. I know. I agree totally because it's tangible. Yeah. They're doing stuff. They're doing things. Wow, I got a bionic elbow. <laughs> It's so small. You know what? I realize finishers in this game are kind of like the money in the bank contract. <laughs> you never know if you're going to be able to successfully cash it in. Oh, no. <laughs> you just stood there and let him do that. I was trying to walk away. Well, yeah, I like that your tights are the same color as Lex Luger's skin. I know. Uh, let's see here. Sheamus and Barrett are now... A tag team. And somehow Rusev's involved, too. I don't like any of that. I don't like Sheamus and Barrett. But you, although, you although, like no, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Not really, though. I like when Barrett was doing bad news because he was funny. Now he's the king of bad news, I think. Ooh, charge finisher, and I lost it. <laughs> Has he actually said that? I think there's a shirt that says that. That's fair. That's, I get that shirt. Um, I love Rusev. He needs to leave them because they're, they're let's cari- see what, charisma succubi. Let's see what Droop's uh, finisher is. I have no idea. Is it an AA? Kind mm, of. I hate that move. I don't so, even know why. It should be cool. But anything anything sit down, I don't like. Yeah, I don't like it either. Dirty pin. <laughs> Good dirty pin. Come on, Droop. We're, Come on, we're ref! ref! Oh, I can see his shadow over there counting. What a jerk. Um, yeah, I don't... Okay, so let's talk about Seamus a little bit, though. Do we have to? Well, no. This is good news for us. If he's in a tag team with Barrett... He's not cashing in anytime soon. He's not cashing in anytime soon. He's oh, well know. on his way to joining... What? Damian Sandow is the only guys who have cashed in and not collected. No, Mr. Kennedy, uh, someone else cashed in and lost. I think you're right. I think it was, might have been Mr. Mr. Kennedy. Um, so, yeah, I, do, I don't, yeah, no, I, I'm glad. Like, it, this seems to be, they're not getting the belts anytime soon. No. That's not happening. The Usos are on their way back. Ugh. So they're going to, I know, I don't like them either. But the Usos might make it a stronger tag division. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Um... It'll be interesting, though. Do you think they're going to have to bring the Usos back? They're not, there's, they're not going to be able to go or to, to immediately bring them back as heels. Oh. Usos versus the New Day. The New Day is getting lots of New Day Rocks chance right yeah, now. And they're do, like we've said before, they're doing everything they can to remain heels. Yeah. They're, they, they ain't got a choice in the matter. Yeah. And when you have a legit Uh-oh. hot face tag team and the Usos are coming in, what do you do? Yeah, that is a that is a pickle. That's a pickle. That's a pickle foot right there. Um, so oh, another bionic elbow. That sucked. He's got two finishers. <laughs> I kicked out though. I'm doing well. <laughs> Good job. So I guess the, if if this is all the case, Uso's coming back. Uh, we have uh, Barrett and Sheamus as a new tag team. Where does this leave the Dudleys? Okay, what did the Dudleys do this past week? They uh, had a uh, they teamed up with Ryback to take on somebody. I don't remember who. Were the new day involved at all? No. Real. So they're they're done. They're yeah. out of the t- they're out of the title hunt. They're officially teaching people how to properly do tag team matches. Um, 
I love that. That's good. What did the New Day do? The uh, two of them are uh, big. They, they, tra- they did the were part of the thing. tournament, wow. and Xavier Woods got married. What? Xavier Woods got married. That's why he wasn't that hell. In the oh, thing. good for him. Yeah. Did it show pictures and stuff? No, no. I mean, story wise, he got hurt. Story wise, he got hurt. Oh, but, but he was off getting married. Yeah, I wonder yeah. if Big. Do you know if Big E or, or Kofi uh, attended? I don't know. I would. I don't know. I'd love to hope. So. I'd love to think so. Um, I don't know why you have this in our notes. Tyler Breeze debuted on Raw. Yeah. Why does that matter? He, 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 he debuted had, on SmackDown. No, but his Raw debut. That's why. His he Raw debut. Didn't he just sort of sit ringside or something? Yeah, he had a cool little lounge, and he had a, a security uh, guy. Was he there the entire episode? No, just during the the, the Dolph uh, Big E match. Oh, okay. Oh well. And then uh, it looked like they had some some nice hors d'oeuvres. Yeah. Made some drinks at their at their little VIP lounge, and I thought that was cool. It looks like a comfy place to sit and enjoy a wrestling show. So that's the only reason I liked it. Yeah. Gosh darn it, Luger. Uh, yeah, so what, are we thinking Tyler Breeze is going to go into a program with Dolph? I don't, that... I don't think that's going to happen. That is what's happening. That's what's happening right now. Oh, no, torture rack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done for. <laughs> the torture rack of doom. Oh, God, look at how... Well, it's just, yeah, look at how big your stick is. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Look at Luger's face. He's so happy with himself. You can play the next one, too. He just said, you are not Wolfpack NWO. You are not Wolfpack NWO. Uh, let's see here. And then the last note is, Paige turns heel, but I thought she already did that. Yeah, this is very. This is a very confused angle that's happening because right now. Because she did the kind of heel turn, and then next by next week, she was back with her team. And then on Raw this week, last week, sorry, she beats down her team. Yeah, is that what is that what happened? She beat them yeah. down because I didn't watch that. I saw, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, because she was like, "No, I'm great. I'm the new. I'm a new page." And I'm like, "Okay, I know where this is going. Just do it already." But I thought they did it like when she ran everybody down and delivered her weak ass pipe bomb. So it's gonna be Paige Charlotte next for the Divas belt. Yeah, I like that. That's good. Give Paige the belt back for a little while. Have them go back and forth a little bit with it. Yeah, that's okay. You, the Bellas are on good terms. With WWE, they can they can hold the the title. <laughs> they have flexi lexi signs. I really wish somebody had the giant head. I know. Of, uh, of in Luger. the audience of Luger. That'd be fantastic. Um, so, yeah, I, no, I think I think it'd be good. I think it'd be fine. Uh, let's see here. There's nothing else on Raw that happened? Not really. No. I mean, the, did you watch the... Uh, what what matches did you watch? Um, what happened first? Uh, first, it was Reigns and Kofi. First, it was, no, I did. I think at God, man, I barely saw anything. Man, I think I saw like all pretty much all the bunch uh, of that match. The tournament matches are really good. Yeah, no, I did know. Yeah, no, that was a good match, and I heard I heard the four way at the end was really good. Yeah, it was really good. Everybody had had a moment to to shine. Yeah. Um, and Roman Roman came out looking good. Mm-hmm. Crowd pop for him, huh? Pretty pretty significantly, yeah. That's cool. Good for good for all them. That's and uh, awesome. the Del Rio Neville match was good. Del Rio showed. Oh, Del Rio well. showed up. Yeah, Del, Del Rio was in the, the tournament. Well, let's talk about his contract. It's time for gorilla position. This is where we talk about... Backstage stuff. Backstage shenanigans. <laughs> Rollins versus... So random. Rollins versus Neville. Um, Del Rio's new contract. He signed for $1.4 million. And, that, and, and like not even a full-time schedule. Yeah. And that's the downside. Guarantee. Yeah. That's the minimum he'll make. That's insane. That's insane. Hold on, I gotta send this. Um, do you think it's worth it? What are other people making? Um, from what I've read, it, that's a lot for 1.4 is a lot for. I even thought upper I saw count. Seth was making like half a mil. Mm-hmm. Del Rio is not worth one and a half million dollars. But you know, if, if if they're going to Mexico, if they if they think they can make that huge money in Mexico because of him. Then I guess it's worth it. Yeah, and I, that's, I think that's the, the, the thing because he got a really good response last night. Yeah, really? Yeah. Where were they last night? San, San Diego? Diego. Oh, yeah. Um, a lot of C chants. Yeah. Um, and uh, a lot of Del Rio signs. Um, and you know, I'm sure he'll he'll move merchandise. You know, I'm, I'm sure they, from a business perspective, they looked into it and, and thought it'd be uh, an advantageous deal for themselves, themselves being WWE. Right. So, you know, based on his prior tenure with the company, they always had shirts of him yeah. on the WWE shop, and there's always people wearing him at the show. So. It's funny to me, though, because, you know, I was reading the thing earlier. They're, they're repackaging... Um, Los Matadores. Yeah, and they were talking about bringing back Carlito, which I think would be a great move, because I really like Carlito. 
Like when he first... Jeez. I never understood the point of the apple, though. Oh, I love the apple. But what was it about? Why Dis- do you have an apple? Disrespecting people. Because he'd spit it in their face? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't I know. I spit the in the face of people who don't want to be cool. So I thought that was great. Um, but let's see here. Uh, but apparently they tried to lowball Carlito. And that's why he's not back. Hmm. So, I don't know. I see. To me, Carlito coming back is more exciting than Del Rio coming back. Okay. I like Del Rio, though. I don't know. I'm so torn. Yeah, you've always liked Del Rio. I'm very torn. I'm very torn on Del Rio. Because I don't think he's ever really drawn money. But then in Mexico, I guess he does. And I heard he had a great run in AAA. Oh, I heard he, had, he was really good in uh, Lucha Underground, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently he had a good match against John Morrison. Mm-hmm. Johnny Mundo. Johnny Mundo. So, um... I really like the production value of, of... I've never really watched it that much. The trailers make make it look really cool. Like, they're taking more of a, a cinematic approach. They are, yeah. And even, even when you watch the when you watch the matches, like, they're cut together. So, like, you know, they have, like, a crane. They have, like, a camera on a crane. Yeah. And they cut them together much more cinematically than... And it's, like, I think it's, like, a 24 frames. So, yeah. it just looks more like a movie. It was really cool. Um, and plus, they have John Morrison, who was the original... The original um, John Morrison Angles yeah. guy. Yep. We used to do that back on... Uh, Tree of Woe. Tree of Woe, that's right. Uh, we also have another... Oh, wait, so you, you posed the question here. Oh, I didn't... Hogan's 1998 WCW contract, that leaked? Yeah. What What was it about? Um, it was a shit ton of money. Like how much is a shit ton? It's like $3 million downside. Jesus and he had Christ. he got a huge portion of, of pay-per-view uh, revenue that he was on. Really? Um, what else? Uh, creative control over matches he was in. Man. It was a ridiculous contract. Yeah. Um, I can't remember all the things, but it was, it was crazy. And that was his 1998 contract. Mm-hmm. So, but does that mean if everybody that had signed after Hall and Nash, or Hall and Nash and on, all the big names that had the favored nations clause, mm-hmm. does that mean they all got that money too? I doubt to the extent that Hogan did. Hmm. I wonder. Or I wonder if that's because Hogan wasn't new. He was just being, he was like re-signing a deal. If they didn't get that, I don't know. But WCW is just throwing money around. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like crazy. Um, so you pose the question, do we like knowing these details? I think it's, I think it's interesting. Number one, when, when we find out that guys like Seth Rollins are making half a million dollars, or guys like Roman Reigns are making half a million dollars, there's a certain element of okay, no, that makes sense. Like that doesn't that doesn't concern me or or pique my interest much. Yeah. When if if the NXT figures we saw are to be believed. Oh and, yeah, we and there, I don't know that they are. There was that thing we saw what a year ago maybe. Yeah, it was about maybe a year longer, ago. Longer than that about how much the certain wrestlers made. Yeah, and like there were some really strange incongruities. I think it was Reigns was making half a million and Rollins was like fifty thousand. And this is when they were on the main roster. Yeah, it was some, it was something like something that. weird. The like disparity that. between the, the two of them was and then significant. The, the NXT guys were getting like twenty five grand, getting like twenty five thousand a year. Um, and I guess I mean that's sort of you know we're, we're paying you to deve- to be developmental. And guys. they probably don't have the the expenses as far as travel and whatnot. That right, exactly. Because there's no way they can they can pay for their own travel if they're on twenty five thousand a year. And um, by and large, most of the shows are in Florida. Right, exactly, and so and. Yeah, I imagine they probably. So I, I that kind of stuff it, it gives me sort of a I don't know a, a wonky eye at the company. You know, it's like yeah, well, really that that's how much you're paying your guys mm-hmm. for taking bumps. You know, oh, that, that's all downside. I'm sure. Yeah, that's just a guarantee. Ooh, you got to finish her. I got it. Um, um you know, and, and you know, like uh, pay per view bonuses or those things exist anymore. Merchandise, that kind of stuff. Yeah, they get a cut of. I'm sure the the more high profile you are, the more of a cut you get. Yeah. So. It's all, I mean, I don't know. I, you know. Oh, I want to pin there. When you're, when you're, generally speaking, if you're a wrestling fan, you've been watching for as long as we have, you, you become inter- as more interested, actually, in the backstage stuff mm-hmm. as you are in the, in the stuff that's on the screen. Because a lot of times, you know, the stuff on the screen, as we've talked before, you know, it, it gets to be redundant sometimes. It gets to be boring. Ooh, some, he, oh, he bled. Nice. Good job. Um, and so, but the behind the scenes stuff is always fascinating as yeah, shit. It is. Yeah, it, is. it really is. I forgot um, I was doing a ladder match. So, finding out about that stuff, 
I, I love it because it's interesting. Um, it just sometimes it makes me cringe because I'm like, geez, he's only getting paid this? I know. Like, that doesn't make any sense. But then who knows if like these leaks are real. Like the Del Rio, it wouldn't surprise me if it was, if, if that was it. It's just, that's, man, that's a, that's a lot of money. But then they always had they always had such faith in Del Rio. I mean, they put yeah. the belt on him like multiple times. He's always been there at the top. I'm just kind of surprised because it's not like he's ever been the most charismatic guy in the world. I don't know. I just I've always had like a weird view of Del Rio. I'm gonna take over the stick for Kayfabe Corner. It is the greatest wrestling trivia challenge of all time. Greatest wrestling trivia challenge of all time, and I'm gonna do it today while fighting this match. Uh, you're going to be asking me... Now, what, what is the deal? Are you week? sure you don't want to pause to devote your full attention to Kayfabe Corner? This is kind of a big deal. It is a big deal. All right, let's all right. dedicate all energies to Kayfabe Corner. Okay. Um, so again, to remind everybody, mm-hmm. 12 names. Yeah. Or 12 things. Okay, yeah, so what are we doing this week? Um, we'll, we'll explain the rules first, what it is. 12 six, things. Six real, six fake. Six real, six fake. Oh, shoot. I think I, got a, I didn't get, look up a bonus question. Oh, no. Shoot. Dude, would you like three minutes? No, I'll wait. we'll do this first, and I'll see if anything comes to me. Okay, so last week, or la- two weeks ago, last yeah. time we did it, I did NWA titles, yeah. real or fake, and I think you got like nine, didn't you? I did. You got pretty good. Uh, the week before that, you did NWA territories, and I got nine. Yeah. So we both did. We've both been doing really well. Yeah, we've, we've upped our game pretty significantly. Exactly. Or have we just downgraded our game significantly because we shouldn't be doing this well? Do you want to know what the, this week's theme is? Obviously. Uh... Finishing moves, real or fake? Oh, wow. Really good. I like this. Are you ready? I'm ready. Number one. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Barnyard Buster. Real. Fake. Fuck. Number two. Okay. Down the Drain. Real. Yes. Yes. Number three. Okay. Everest Duoplex. Fake. Yeah. Okay. You know who came with that one? Who? My wife. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's good. It's a really good one. Good. That's a good one. It's a top rope double suplex. Yeah. Uh, it's a, but that one sounds like, that one sounds like you had the name of another one and you just substituted Oh, no, that had nothing to do with it. It was all her. Okay, all right. Uh, number four. Okay. Octagon Special. I'm going to say it's fake. Real. Real who? I'm, I don't know. Let me write down who's All right, right, all right. Number five. Okay. Into the Void. That's fake. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because that's a movie. Number six. Uh-huh. Cocko the Walk. That's real. Yeah. Okay. Um, number Let's seven. Go. San Quentin Shank. No way. That's fake. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. I can see that being in CZW, but yeah. Uh, number eight. Okay. The Cloud Burst. That's real. Yeah. Okay. Do you know who, who that is? I want to say. I mean, yeah, that sound that sounds like a uh, Gold Dust or Cody Rhodes no, or something. It wasn't like that. Okay. I don't know who it was. It wasn't either there. Cloudburst. Uh, this would be number nine. Okay. Avalanche tsunami driver. Boy, that's a that's a long one. Avalanche tsunami driver. Avalanche tsunami driver. Avalanche tsunami driver. My my inclination is to say that's way too convoluted to be real, but that makes me think it's real. It's real. Fake. My initial inclination was correct. I know. Number 10. Yes. Power special. <laughs> Again, <laughs> that sounds so fake. Real. Yeah. Okay. Number 11. It's always the opposite of what we think. I know. Is. The high five dive. I'm going to say real. Fake. Damn it. I can see some idiot on the indie scene <laughs> I know. doing that. I know. That's where you came up with it. That's one I was most proud of, the fake ones. Yeah, okay. Uh, number 12, winner plex. Winner plex. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the winner plex. Let me ask you something real quick. Okay. Where did you pull these from? I did a search for a list of wrestling finishers, and there's some website that popped up. Okay. And it ran the gamut? It was a pretty extensive list. Okay. Winner plex. Winner plex. 
Okay, I'm gonna say this. If this if this is fake, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Because that's ridiculous. And there's no way you thought of that real. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Okay. Yeah. Um, since it's I know who utilized the winter plex, that'd be one of your questions. Oh shit. Who mm-hmm. used the winter plex? Do I know this person, obviously? Yeah. Okay. Who utilized the winter plex? Oh man, this sounds like um, oh man, it is. I know it's not him, but I can't get him out of my head. Hold on. I have two people in my head. Okay. Choose one. Okay. I'm going to say Al Snow. No. Buff Bagwell. No. Who was a wrestler who used to pat himself on the back? Oh, Barry Horowitz? Yep. (laughs) Second bonus question. Okay. Who is said to have innovated the pile driver? Oh, wow. I'm going to say Luthez. Wild Bill Longson. Oh, fuck. I have no idea who that I is. I have no idea who that is either. Wild Bill. <laughs> hey, there's, Wild Bill. There's Wild Bill. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I'd want that guy. He debuted side. in 1931. Dang. Is he, he's not alive still. He, was uh, pretty, he looks like he's 50 uh, in 1931. No, he died in 1982. Oh, man. Wild Bill. I have to look him up. All right. Well, that was a good. That was a quick... That was a quick episode of Going In Raw. We're, we're on a tight schedule right now. Yeah. So, uh, boys, but I got, you got, I got eight. eight. That's pretty good. That's pretty darn the good. Streak, the streak continues of quality performance. I think we're only learning about each other more. That explains this. That's got to be it. It's got to be it. Next week. Do you know what you're going to do for your theme next week? I have no idea. I already, gonna, know I already got my theme for the next time I do it. I got to try. I got to figure mine out soon, though, because I hate doing it last minute. Although last week, I did, I think... As I was here when you put your list together, weren't wasn't I? No. That was the week before. Yeah, yeah that was when I did and uh Oh, that's when I did the trivia trivia one, I think. No, no, no. no? You didn't come up with that before. I think you, it was like a four horseman thing you did. Oh, that's crap. All right, well thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>